Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be using iron-on vinyl, HTV heat transfer vinyl, on corkboard trivets. Now, I got this three pack of trivets from Ikea. I've seen very similar ones like this in my local dollar store. And the only difference I really saw was the actual thickness of each individual trivet. So I wanted a bit thicker. You know, I want to keep my countertops safe from any heat. So I decided to go with the Ikea ones. Normally what I use are just these guys. So the little kind of square oven mitt guys. And I wanted something a bit more fun. So decided let's go with like a real trivet and I wanted to do iron on. So the white, red and the black is Crooked Everyday Iron On. So again, I cut with the shiny side down, mirrored all the images, and then you place it down that way. I also have Caesar metallic metal HTV. So you treat this the same as you treat glitter HTV iron on. This, if you're layering, has to go on the top. This has to be the final one that you layer or you can't, like you can't have anything layer on top of it. So you gotta be careful with that. I am going to do three trivets because I'm curious to see one, how this is going to work and two, I'm doing three different styles. So one of them is just one layer and you'll see a lot of the cork board. The second one is going to have a circular white background with some words. And then the third one is actually going to be layered with all four colors. So I want to see how well everything's going to adhere. Uh, one of them is going to be a layered flower, kind of like a Mandela flower. Then the other two are just kind of fun sayings that I came up with. They're kind of like an inside joke in the kitchen at my home. The joke is, is I'm a baker, not a, someone who cooks. So I'm not the best cook in the world. And the joke is that my husband will eat anything. So he's always happy with whatever I end up cooking. So there, they'll reflect that. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got everything weeded out. I've got my Easy Press heated up. It's at 315 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. That is the recommendation from the Cricut Heat Guide because everything but the metal vinyl that you can see right there is Cricut. So I found the smoother edge. I felt both and then I brushed it off to get any loose cork board off of it. I've also got uh, heat resistant tape and scissors if I need to tape down 
any of like the big white circles. But for now, we're gonna start with the first one. Get this guy on there. So he pretty much says, uh-oh, better get the takeout menu. So again, the joke is I am not the best cook. So sometimes it doesn't work out that well. So you know what? I'm actually going to put a little bit of tape down on him because he's not sticking well because it's mainly the iron on. There's not a lot of uh, stickiness available. And I had a feeling that was going to happen. So, and that's okay. This is what heat transfer tape is for, is to get something transferred down so it doesn't move. Make sure I'm still happy where it is. I am. It's not sticking the best to the cork board and I figured that was going to be the case. And again, not a big deal. I just don't want it to, to shift at all as I put everything down. So just looking for a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to use that guy there. So it says light pressure and to peel cool. So I've just got two hands on there and I'm just slightly leaning into it. So that's what I consider light pressure. Let's see if it works. So it's definitely flattened down. So I'm going to take that as a good sign. So while that cools off, it's actually not that warm, but we'll let it cool off as recommended. We'll move on to the next one. So this one, I want it to be almost solid white that you see before I get the words on there. I'm trying to get that as even. There's a bit of a, like just an edge lip, and then it goes into the curve of the side there. So this one seems to be a little harder to line up. Okay. I'm going to try and tape this down to the mat so it doesn't move. Hopefully that works. Lost my edge on the tape here. Yeah, so the moment I pressed down, it looked like it moved again, so. Okay, we're gonna be happy with that. It's sticking not too, too shabby. It is very hard to cut tape using the wrong hand. So I'm going to want a piece there. And a piece there. Let me get everything lined up again how I want it. I don't think I'll ever be able to get this perfectly centered because one, I don't think that it's cut perfectly straight, the circle, for the trivet. And as I said, with that uh, edge, the way it's moving around, I don't think that helps either. So with this one, because I'm doing layers, hopefully I'll be able to pull off after a few seconds. So I'm going to pin down for about five seconds with a bit more pressure. And hopefully that has tacked it enough that I can pull it up. It looks like I can pull it up. Oh, maybe not. Yep, yeah, I can pull it up. 
So my biggest worry was because the cork board is not fully smooth, it wouldn't look right, if that makes sense. But so far, so good. Okay. So this one is for when I accidentally burn something. It's burnt. No, this is flambe. I'm going to just trim a bit off the bottom here. Just so I can do these both on the same press and I'll just do the full. 15 seconds. These ones should stick a lot better. So I don't know about you guys watching, but I have burnt a few things <laughs> in the kitchen. Not baking, but I have burnt cooking. So I'm just doing the light pressure again, just kind of leaning in to my easy press. Here we go. These guys look pretty stuck down. So we'll give that a second to cool off. Let's pull up this one. That seems to be sticking really well. I like that one. Uh-oh, better get the takeout menu. That's if I really mess up. So. Okay, now we can start prepping the last guy. So he starts with the white first. So I stuck them together in the proper order, bottom to top. Now it's just unsticking. This one's just a layered flower. Just pulling my tape off the previous ones. Let's see if I can reuse it. If it has enough stick to it. These corner pieces didn't go under the easy press at all, so they should be fine. Again, it's just to help stick it down. up from my mat there. Okay. Let's get my parchment paper on top. that guy out of the way. Again, I'm going to do this one for about the five seconds. A bit more pressure. There we go. hot. That's okay. These are meant to get hot. Okay. Our next layer is the red. Yeah, I'm a little off center on the circle. I can see it now, but again, these are coming out when the hot things have to go on them. That one should stay without any tape because it's sticking to the white layer. So let's give it another five seconds. 
Again, just a little bit more pressure than they're asking for. I just want a good adherent to the white layer, which should be absolutely fine now. See, easy peasy coming up. Got a little squished there. That's okay. Our next layer is the black layer. Now I'm not sure how well this is actually going to hold up putting hot things on it. I hope it will hold up for a decent amount of time. You put the shirts in the dryer. It says it's supposed to be low heat, but I'm sure everyone's accidentally put it in high heat and not realized it. So I'm not gonna squish down as hard on this because I'm actually layering on the vinyl. So just get a little bit of heat there. Just attack it. And still doing kind of the warm, hot peel. Okay, now looking at my Caesar applications for metal, it wants preheated if it's a garment, we don't have to worry about that. It wants medium pressure 10 to 15 seconds at 305 degrees. So I'm going to lower the temperature on my heat press. And we'll get this one lined up. I do really like this metal HTV because when you put it on a shirt it looks metal so I actually made a shirt from Terminator so the metal guy the Terminator bad guy who turns into the good guy T300 or something I don't know I actually made one of his face the metal face with this and it turned out really really good Okay, so just waiting for my easy press to cool off. So while we wait for that, let's peel these guys because they fully cooled. got the first two done. What do you guys think of these ones? I think they actually look really good. <laughs> so can't wait to pull them out in the kitchen, especially if I have uh, messed up on dinner. <laughs> so Easy Press has cooled down. Oh, and let me double check how it wanted the carrier sheet. It says carrier sheet, peel, cold. Okay. And double check the pressure. Medium pressure. So two hands, putting, really putting my weight behind it this time. I'm somewhat pressing down. That's what I consider medium pressure. that guy cooled off and then we can do the final reveal okay this is cooled down enough as you can see I started peeling it back and I'm getting kind of a weird edge there I probably pulled it too soon I was impatient now I have had trouble peeling up this metal HTV in the past it can be somewhat tricky Okay, so let's remove that guy. There are my three coasters. 
My favorite one, oh, it's a toss up between these two. This one's meh, I probably shouldn't have used the Metal HTV, but I definitely like these two because I find them quite amusing. <laughs> is what it comes down to. Um, I used on this one three different fonts and on this one I used oh I want to say it's just two different fonts. Those are one font and then this one is another font and I manipulated it. I did it's hard to tell I did have this centered but it looks like it's moved over to the left a bit so I'm not sure what happened there. I just cut the words out. I found this image on Design Space. I just looked up menus and found that and then sliced the words out of there. So I didn't notice that bit of an extra gap there. But again, the whole point of these is I wanted something for my kitchen to use as a trivet and they're going to get used and abused and heated up with hot pots and things out of the oven. And I don't know how long they're going to last. These were very inexpensive from Ikea. This is not a huge amount of iron-on that I used, so I'm okay if they get damaged. But there you go. You can put HTV on a trivet. Who would have thought? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Until next time.